Okay, here I have a brand new copy of RS Logics 5000 Mini Edition or Studio 5000 Mini Edition. Let's take a look at what you get when you buy a copy. Now I've already sliced open the edge here, so I'm going to pull it out and I have some brown packaging paper and then I have my software box. Let's go ahead and take a look at it here. It's the front. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the back. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and open it up now. And inside we can see we have two discs. Uh, we have one that says Studio 5000 and one that says Iris Logix 5000. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Studio 5000 disc first. And we can see this, is, this disc is version 21 through 24. Okay, let's look at the next disc. And we can see this disc is version 12 through 2001. Okay. Now let's take a look at what comes in on the other side here as far as documentation. Um, here we have our red envelope, and this is very important. This has the information you need to activate the software. Without it, the software will probably only run for seven days in a grace period. So let's go ahead and open up the red envelope and see what we have inside here. And this is our activation certificate. And let's go ahead and zoom in on it so you can get a better look at it. And the important information is in the rectangle there. That's where you have your serial number and product key. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put that one side now. And it looks like we've got a bunch of different documentation here that comes with it. Um, this is a README before you open, but we've already opened it. So uh, this is something about software piracy. Um, okay. We have uh, a note about version 17. We have uh, information about Drive Tools and Drive Executive. We have information about activating your software. And we have version 24 release notes. And that's everything that you get when you purchase a copy of Iris Logics 5000 Mini.